What's up, everybody? It's Ryan McCrary, founder of McCrary Financial Solutions. Hope everyone's having a good day. If you watch this on the replay, please drop replay down at the bottom. Drop a comment in. Let me know that you watched it. Again, if you watch this on the replay, which if you do see this, you're going to be seeing this on replay. Uh, please drop the word replay down at the bottom. Please drop a comment in, a question in, anything. I would love to connect. Uh, any question or comment, if you do see this on the replay, drop the word replay down here. Um, hope everyone's having a great day. If you get on, please share. Please share uh, on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, every social media platform because we need these intelligent uh, financial literacy discussions to be shared. Uh, we need them out in the mainstream because what do you see on mainstream media? Do you see anything about black people building wealth on mainstream media or on main, you know, on the big social media platforms? Usually, no. You see us, you know, income tax season is about to be up. What do you see people do? Flashing money, blowing money, you know, spending money on cars and clothes and jewelry. No, none of those things appreciate. None of those things appreciate. So if you go on Instagram, what do you see? You see people posing in Gucci belts. You see people in Miami renting cars and they coming back to the city uh, and driving in a squatter. But you down Miami and you renting a, a Phantom or you renting a Ghost in Miami. But that's not your car. That's not your car. Hey, RJ, how you doing, Queen? Uh, yeah, we're going to meet next week. Let me know if you're still on for next week because I'm excited. I uh, just had a meeting with someone on the local level, so we can definitely get this popping on the local level. So anybody on the local level, if you're in Philly, if you're in uh, the county, if you're in Upper Darby, Darby, Yaden, Sharon Hill, West Philly, North Philly, South Philly, Southwest, Uptown, Mount Airy, Germantown, wherever you at, we will come make a presentation to your organization, to your church, to your nonprofit, I don't care what it is, and we ain't even asking for a lot of money. You can just get a portion, like whatever the case may be. We can figure it out. If you got financial challenges, that's why we're here. We can figure it out. Don't think that you got to spend a lot of money. Uh, let us come in, me and Audrey and her sister or whoever else. We will come and speak to people, especially the youth, especially the youth. I actually have a financial literacy children's course that will be coming out in a couple weeks. So if you have children, make sure your children uh, get signed up. But we want to make sure we hit the babies. It's easier. I forget whose quote it was. I don't know if it was Booker T. Washington or W.D. Du Bois. One of them, or it might have been Malcolm X. They said it's easier to, re to build a child than it is to repair an adult. It's easier to build a child than it is to repair an adult. And I agree with that 100%. Because a lot of people at this point in age, it's hard to get them on board with financial literacy. Some people are just so broken. Some people are so brainwashed. Some people just have no clue about finance, financial literacy. They were never taught it. You know, they don't know they, know they have bad credit. They don't know how to get the credit better. They don't know how to invest in stocks, even though it takes about 10 minutes, you know. They don't know how to start a business, even though you can start an LLC for just as easy as you can open us, um, apply for a job, um, learn and earn, learn to build assets. Our child, our, our future. Yes, they are. They are. I get really, really passionate about that because we got to get the babies. We got to get the baby. Seriously, it upsets me when I see children that can do, uh, you know, the Quan. Or children can, you know, say Nicki Minaj lyrics, but they don't know nothing about entrepreneurship. They don't know how easy entrepreneurship can be. You know, you say you could be selling candy bars or you could be selling lemonade. You could be selling brownies. That is the beginning of entrepreneurship. So if you can recite Nicki Minaj lyrics or you can do the Quan or the Nay Nay or whatever dance going to come out next week. They can learn, you know, what is an investor? What is a stockbroker? What is a, a, you know, producer as opposed to a consumer? Marcella, how are you doing, queen? How you doing, queen? Um, they need to know, you know, what is a stockbroker? What is an investor? What is a producer? What does it mean to be an entrepreneur? What does it mean to market? You know, what does it mean? Uh, you know, what is a dividend? What is a capital gain? All that stuff. 
can use these phones. Can't use these phones. What do you mean, queen? Um, so like I said, the chill, we got to save the baby. So me and Audrey and her sister, whoever, we will come on the local level. If you want us to come, it's not local. Fly us out. Fly us out. We will come to your church, to your organization, to your nonprofit, whatever it is, whatever you have. You know what I mean? It doesn't just have to be a church. It could be a mosque. It could be a synagogue. It doesn't matter. It's not about, uh, you know, religion. The divide us with religion has been divided us for years. It's not as about, um, you know, where you, where you work. I do this. I do that. No, we as black folks got to come together. We got to come together. Uh, Houston, yeah, shout out to Houston, man. Houston, uh, been showing a lot of love. I rock with Houston heavy. Houston, uh, is a different breed, a lot of conscious black folks. So, shout out to Houston for real. Also, if everybody on here, if you haven't shared, please share. Uh, please share. Uh, that's how we get this message out. Uh, please share on your, on your Facebook page, your personal page. If you got a group, if you got a business page, uh, share it on that. Uh, and I did want to talk about passive income today. I'll talk about that in a second. But uh, what we're just talking about, we got to get the babies. We got to get the babies. So that's why I am releasing the financial literacy children's course should be available within the next two weeks. So it's like literally 30, 40 different topics that every child should know. They should know what a capital gain is. They should know what a stock is, what a bond is, what a mutual fund is. They should know what a stock broker is. You know, they should know what a mortgage is. They should know what credit is. They should know what a home equity loan is. All that type of stuff. And literally, this kid's program, uh, if the kid takes this, when they take this program, they'll have a financial literacy level that's probably better than most adults. Because most adults, thank you for sharing, Queen. Most adults don't even know uh, what a stock is. Most adults don't know what a capital gain is. Most adults don't know what a dividend is. So we can get the kids on board in next generation, next 20, 30, 40 years. Like I'm telling you, black people, we are not going to be in last place anymore. Like seriously, we are not. We're going to be sitting at the table with the Jews and the Arabs and the Asians and the big white corporations, the billionaires. We're going to be sitting at the table with them uh, because we plan in this generation. We plan for the next. Um, so the main thing I did want to talk about today was just passive income. Passive income is the key to financial freedom. What is passive income? Passive income is when you're earning money for not doing anything. You're not necessarily working for money. You're not trading dollars for money. So usually, you know, if you have a job, it's okay to have a job. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but the main thing is just to have multiple streams of income. So if you have a job, it's good to have a job because you, uh, you have a steady income. Being an entrepreneur is very tough. It's challenging. You may have some days where you won't make no money. You may have some weeks or some months where you don't make no money. So if you have a steady job, just use that income and buy some more assets. So if all your money comes from a job, that's okay. Just take some of that money, go buy a property. Get your income tax money, go buy a property. So now at the first of every month, you can rent that out and you can get a check every first of the month for not doing anything. You know, you can take that money from your job and then, and then buy some stocks. Now you're a stockholder. So now the first quarter is about to end at the end of March. So now when that first quarter ends, you're going to have dividends. You're going to have a check that comes to you. You can reinvest it or you can take that money. You know, you may get capital gains, long-term and short-term capital gains. You can also put money into a business. Um, so even if you don't want to run a business, you can still put money into a business. Uh, you can still be an equity shareholder. You could be a, you know, a m minority partner. Uh, and still have money coming in and you're not doing anything. You may just put, you know, say, I got, oh, I got 10%. I got 15% of this business. Uh, so the business could still want to be worked. I don't have to do anything, um, but I'm still going to collect. So as that business income rises, as you know, uh, they take over more market share, you're going to capitalize that just from being an investor. But most people aren't talking about this. That's the problem. Go out to any community, the average black folks, we ain't talking about that. We ain't talking about that. We worrying about trying to go to Neiman Marcus, get some Gucci, get some Pradas, get a Gucci belt, get some Givenchy, you know what I'm saying? Or go rent a nice loft, you know what I'm saying? Trying to take pictures on Instagram and all that type of stuff. But I'm like, yo, where's the ownership? Where's the wealth? 
uh, you know, one of my homies, like a sister to me, she put up a post earlier. She was like, people will spend like a thousand dollars in, in uh, Nordstrom, but a share of stock in Nordstrom is only forty eight dollars. So you going to go in Nordstrom and spend a thousand dollars on some Gucci or some Hermes or whatever, some seven jeans. But you ain't going to spend forty eight dollars to be an equity shareholder like I want the shares. And what I say is it don't got to be either or you ain't got to say, all right, well, I bought some shares. Now I can't buy the sneaks. Or, you know what I mean? I bought some shares of Apple. Now I can't get the iPhone X. No, you can do both. I'm saying do both. So if you want to go to Nordstrom and spend $1,000, which I don't think is that smart. But, you know, if you go and you're spending thousands of dollars at Nordstrom, make sure you at least own a house or, you know what I mean? Something like that. You own some stocks or you got a business, something. But if you do, you know, do that, just buy the share of stocks as well. So say, all right, I'm going to spend 1000 at Nordstrom, but I'm also going to spend 1000 on the stock. So... As Nordstrom makes money, the holidays come around, you know, they make all this money. You're also going to make money because you're a shareholder. That's all I'm saying. Um, but what passive income is the keys to financial freedom. So some of the ways to obtain passive income is number one, you know, investing in stocks. You can get passive income because depending on the company, not all companies pay dividends, but most of them do. So if you're investing in a company, they can be paying you dividends and you're not doing anything. All you are doing is opening the brokerage account and buying stocks. Once you are an investor, once you hold shares, uh, you can like vote, you get voting rights, but you also can capitalize on dividends. So if the company maximizes profits and they, they put money out to the shareholders, you will get extra money and you're not doing anything. You're not working for that money. You're not driving an hour to a corporation to make that money. You're not working eight, 12, 16 hours at a hospital to make that money. You're not doing anything. You're just making a smart decision. You're being an investor and you're making money. Another way to get passive income is just business. Business, like you don't know how many times I can be out driving, I can be doing this live and I can still be making money. Someone may shop on my online store and buy something right now and I have it set up where as though I don't have to ship any products. So someone could go into my online store right now and buy something and it's going to be printed and shipped to them. Let me know if you can hear me. Um, so like I said, another way to get passive income is just business. Someone can shop on my online store right now. They can buy something right now while I'm talking to you right now and I can make money and I'm not doing anything. I have it set up where as though I have another company that will print and ship my products to the customer and I don't have to do anything. I don't have to go out into the street to try to get somebody to buy my apparel. I don't have to, you know, beg someone to get on their platform to buy that my apparel. No, that stuff is good. I'm not saying don't go out and hustle. I'm not saying don't build relationships. I'm not saying don't get a brand ambassador program and, you know, JV or junior, uh, joint venture with people and, and build partnership. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I don't have to. I don't have to. Someone can shop right now and I can make money. Someone can go into my school and, you know, take a look at a course and purchase a course, whatever the case may be. And I can make money right now. and I'm not doing anything. So a lot of times I've been with my kids or driving or just out with family and I get a PayPal text that I've made money. That is empowering. So that's why I'm trying to teach people how to do the same thing, because it ain't rocket science. It ain't no you know secret that I did. It's just I've learned some things. I've read some books. I started the business, got around other entrepreneurs and other people that make money, other people that built businesses, other people that have been where I want to go. And I just started, I just studied the blueprint. All you gotta do is follow the blueprint. The, you know, the blueprint is out here, it's not a secret anymore. We have the internet, we have Google, we have social media. So it's really not a secret. Like the blueprint is out here, it's not a secret on how to make money, how to start a business. Um, you just got to be willing to learn and learn from people that actually know what they're talking about. So the main ways to get so wheeling over stocks, business, and the other way to obtain passive income is something that I'm not even into really yet, but I will be is just real estate. Me, I, you know, I do stocks. I invest heavily into stocks and mutual funds and business, online businesses, entrepreneurship. I'm heavy into online marketing, heavy into buying stocks. I haven't dabbled into real estate too much, but I will. But that's another opportunity to make passive income. It's another opportunity to make passive income is real estate. Real estate. So if you got your income tax money back, 
um, and you don't already own a house, or if you do, buy another property, buy an investment property. What's wrong with that? You know, a lot of people uh, take multiple vacations a year, and I'm like, yo, if number one, if you get thousands of dollars back on income tax, looking for my next stream, yeah, I got, yeah, definitely. You already got like eight, so oh, don't let Audrey lie to y'all, cause she already got at least five. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but you can never have too many. The average millionaire has seven, but Audrey, Audrey got like at least five. Don't let her fool y'all. Um, but I tell people like, listen, if you got five to ten thousand back on income tax. If you take like three vacations a year, spending thousands of dollars going on trips and, uh, you know, cruises, which is good, have fun, absolutely. If you spend thousands of dollars on Christmas or your kid's birthday and you don't own a house, you're tripping. I'm sorry, you're tripping. Again, if you get five, 10, whatever thousand back on income tax, you spend thousands of dollars on vacations, you spend thousands of dollars on Christmas gifts and you don't own a house, you're balling backwards. Like seriously, you're balling backwards and it's okay because one of us, most of us, almost all of us would never taught financial literacy. So, uh, you know, a lot of us, it's not our fault because we never were taught this. We weren't taught this in elementary or middle or high school, even college and graduate school. You can get a PhD and know nothing about financial literacy. I've talked to doctors and lawyers that know nothing about financial literacy. Like, yo, you're a doctor, you make 200,000 a year. How's your 401k invested? I don't know. How do you buy a stock? I don't know. How do you start a business? I don't know. How do you be your own boss? I don't know. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, so, and that's great. Of course, we need doctors. We love doctors. They save lives. But at the same time, a lot of doctors that went to school for five years, you know what I mean? They had an intern for two years and they still don't know how to buy a, shot, a share of stock. They still don't know how their money is in their 401k. They still don't know how to be their own boss and start a business or make money online. So this is why this information is so crucial. Passive income is the key to financial freedom. Passive income is the key to financial freedom. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, if anybody has any questions or comments, you can type them in now before we wrap. Also, again, if you watch us on the replay, please type the word replay down. Uh, you can also type a comment in, a question in, any type of question you have. If you have a business that you know you want to just get started just do it and i say just go out and do it you know what i mean a lot of people are kind of waiting for that savior waiting for that celebrity endorsement waiting for that person to call their phone yo just go out and do it go out and do it and hustle joseph how you doing king peace king uh audrey says it's self-patient sacrifices now uh for a chill later yeah absolutely um yeah joseph how you doing king um, shout out to New Orleans. Um, but yeah, I would say, how you doing, Wakisha? I would say people that do want to be entrepreneurs, just go out and do it. You want to start a business, go out and do it. When you first start your business, I guarantee you, it's probably going to fail. When you first start, you know, any type of business, usually you're probably not going to have no clients. The family members that you thought was going to support you, they probably ain't going to support you. You know what I mean? All those thousands of dollars you thought you were going to make because you quit your job, probably ain't going to make them right away. But that's okay. That's okay. It's all trial and error. You're still farther along than the person that only talks about it. So me, I don't care. I'll put a product out. I'll launch something and I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll fail or I'll fall flat on my face. And I don't care because I'm going to go out and do it again. I'll run an advertising campaign and be like, damn, I just targeted the wrong audience. Or I spent all this money on Facebook ads and I ain't making no money. All right, let's do it again. Let me get an ad specialist now so I can really, you know, target better. I can do it better. You know, whatever the case may be, I'm not scared to fail um, because when I do hit it, then I'm going to hit it. So that is why I have found success because I failed multiple times. Ask any multimillionaire, billionaire, whatever. All we usually hear is the success story. Nobody talks about all the times they failed. You know what I'm saying? Like all the billionaires, they will tell you, uh, you know, all the times that I failed. Elon Musk is a multi-billionaire, but at one point he spent $100 million and couldn't even make payroll. He couldn't even, uh, he couldn't even buy something for his kids. His wife was literally about to divorce him because he spent $100 million and still had nothing to show for it. Imagine spending $100 million into a business idea and after that, you can't make payroll. You can't uh, have any money to feed your family. 
but you know you got to keep going. Now he's a multi-billionaire. So that's it for today. If anybody does have any other questions, if you watch this on replay, just type replay in, uh, put a comment in, put a question in, whatever the case may be, and saying that, yeah, absolutely. That's why I'm like, yo, you got to keep going. You got to keep going. That's why as an entrepreneur, you got to be doing what you're passionate about. If you're not doing what you're passionate about, if you're only in it for the money, it's going to be hard for you to find success. So me, I'm not in it just for the money. Of course, I want to make money. I want to grow a business. I want to scale a business. I want to be able to provide for my family. But at the same time, I want to be able to give back. I want to help people. I want to help people because I've been in these rooms. I've been in these buildings. I've been in these insurance companies. I've been in these, uh, you know, big firms and brokerage companies where they have multi-million dollars, millions of dollars, usually no black folks. Um, and I've just seen how they move. You know, I've seen how I've seen how they move. I've seen decisions they make with their finances. You know, I've seen how they built wealth. I've seen how they position their family and their children and stuff like that. So me seeing it like, I, you know, I've been that token. I've been that person in the department where there's 100 people in the department and only two of them black. And, you know, one of them is a black female, or only one black male. I've been that token. I've sat in those rooms and I've analyzed and I've seen, you know, what goes on. I've seen, you know. Uh, what they teach on Ivy League schools and what the Jewish, you know, people when the uh, people, you know, the higher ups, people that have multi-million dollars, I've seen how they move. I've seen how they position their family. I've seen what they teach their children. I've seen the books that they read. I've seen just what they do. So me, I want to give back because I see as black folks that we ain't broke. If you say you broke, you better not have Jordans on if you say you broke. You walk around any hood and I literally count how many people have Jordans on. And nothing wrong with having Jordans. But if you got Jordans, don't say you broke. If you got an iPhone, don't say you broke. If we can line up at Popeyes, don't say we're broke. If we can give $600 million to Disney because we want to see Black Panther, black folks ain't broke, but it's all about mindset. You just got to get your mind right. You got to recognize that instead of going to see Black Panther three times, go see it one time. And then instead of going the other two times, just buy some Disney stock. Instead of buying some products at Nordstrom to, to look good on Instagram, why don't you just buy shares in the company and then you will, uh, can be a shareholder? You know, instead of slaving to a corporation for 30, 40 years, why don't you take that skills that you're giving to the corporation where they only pay you 40000 a year? Why don't you take those skills and start your own business, start an LLC, whatever the case may be, and then you can make as much as you want. Nobody can cap your salary when you're your own boss. So that's it for today. Um, again, if you have any questions or comments, just type them in. I'll come back and answer them. If you haven't shared already, please share. Uh, if you haven't already enrolled in my school, you can. It's free. Go to financiallyliteratenow.com. Financiallyliteratenow.com. We have a children's course coming out in a couple weeks. If you have children, you must not love your children if you don't put them in these type of programs. They don't even got to be mine. I hope you en 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 enroll them in mine, but they don't got to be mine you love your children, put them in the financial literacy program. It's not going to cost much. It's not going to cost more than what you went to see Black Panther. So you can put them in my program. It'll be in a few weeks. Have, uh, like I said, the adult course, it's free. Go to financiallyliteratenow.com, financiallyliteratenow.com. I also have a book that's coming out. I have a book that's coming out in a few months. I'll have a, a specific release date. As soon as we got, get done editing it and everything, you know, talk to the editor and just get everything up and running. But my book is complete. I have written the entire thing. It's done. Uh, it just needs to get edited and get, uh, you know, fully, fully ready for print so we can get them out there. And I'll definitely let you know exactly the release date so y'all can look out for that. Um, so I uh, hope everyone has a great day. Again, just be financially empowered, make smart financial decisions and build that passive income. Build that passive income, make money while you sleep.